Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and today I will be discussing the problem called minimum moves to equal array elements and it is the second one and index number is 462 and the problem is of one of the medium type problems of the lead code. Okay, so this is the second problem of the series of problems called minimum moves to equal array elements. So I will recommend to do the very first problem and then come back to this problem so that you can have a better idea about the series of these type of problems. Okay. So given an integer array, nums of size n, and we have to return the minimum number of moves required to make all array elements equal. And how we are going to do that? Okay. So for now, let's first read out the problem, read out the constraints, and it is going to be like very much important for everyone to understand the problem statement very clearly, then proceed further to understand the approach towards the solution and then finally code it up as fast as possible and the code should be nice okay so in one move we can increment or decrement an element of the array by one okay and there are here are the some set of examples and the answers i'm also going to explain how the answer is coming about and what should be our approach in the best possible scenario for now let's look at the constraints and is going to be like nums length and n can go at most 10 power 5 and every number of the array is going to lie within this range okay so let's move further to understand this problem with the help of examples and to, uh, we will together build up the best solution of this problem okay so let's move further okay so suppose uh, let us take an example of the array like suppose we have the array like 1 10 and 2 and 9 suppose this is the elements of this array and we need to find what is the minimum cost to make all the elements of this array equal note that in one operation we can uh, increase any of the elements of the array by one and we can also decrease any of the elements of the array by one in a costing a single operation okay now to make all the elements of this array equal we can choose any random value that is let's say i am going to uh, make the elements of the array all equal to nine let's say okay so we want to convert this one to this nine it will cost me eight operations and that is incrementing every time one by one and it goes on up to this nine and we can uh, convert this 10 to this nine by decrementing one time and it will cost me a single one operation and similarly converting two to this nine will cost me a seven operations and so nine to nine will always cost me zero operation it is already equal so what is the total number of uh, operations that we have got it is coming out to be 16 8 7 and 1 16 it means that for converting every number to this uh, the number equal to 9 will give me the cost as 16 that is it will require cost as 16 so can this be the minimum value or we can get some more minimum values or what is the optimal uh, optimal value being chosen so that we can converge every element of this array to that optimal value this needs to be like uh, choosing that value is going to be like very much important okay now let us understand uh, how we can choose that value let's say x where x is the value where every value of the array is going to converge to this x note that i am talking about the converge convergence that is convergence means let's say x is uh, let's say uh, something random value is 99 and we have some elements of the array like 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 30, 1000, 10,000, so on. We will try to make all the elements being equal to this x. And to make it equal to x, the cost required will be absolute value of the number. Let's say number is y minus x. This will be the cost to make some element of this array equal to this x. And I am trying to converge all the elements to this x. Now the question lies is how to choose a suitable x. Let us try to focus over that. Okay. So let me first erase all these stuffs. Okay. So almost done. This is also done. Okay. Now we will try to focus on how to find this optimal x. Okay. Now one thing, one doubt that arises on every like uh, coded mind that while solving this problem should be like uh, mean. Uh, okay. I'm going to write over that clearly. It is going to be like a mean of the entire array or median of this entire array. That is, it is optimal that our value x should be either of this mean or should be either of this median. But which is going to give us a correct answer? Note that, uh, let's say we have this array elements. 
and let us find out the mean of this array mean of this array is coming out to be 11 and then 11 it will 22 divided by 4 it will come out to be around 5 5.4 something so uh, this is going to be like a decimal value we will try to convert either to the 5 or either to the 6 like uh, everyone try to do that and because uh, the, if uh, we have some average of this uh, array elements and we will try to make all the elements of this array equal to that average uh, my answer can give us a correct answer or that is my answer could be correct could be not correct but if we choose the median then it will give us the correct answer and how it will give us the correct answer let us try to understand that with the help of examples because I think uh, uh, having the proof of some mathematical expression to get uh, to be understood very well it is better or it is recommended to understand that proof with the help of examples directly to have a good grip over that okay so let us take an example like uh, i have the array elements like let's call it as uh, one okay i'm writing over here one 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 and that is three ones over here and let's call it as another one and let us i have a very large value called as thousand okay so this is the array element I have taken over here that is the 4, 1 and then 1000. So if we try to converge all the elements of this array to the mean and what is the mean coming out? Let's call it as mean as x and uh, the, uh, the values sum of this coming out to be 100, 1004 uh, divided by the 5 it will come out to be around that is uh, 10,104 uh, divided by 5 it will come out to be around 20. 200 I think around 200 let us take to assume this value is 200 okay if we try to convert every element to this value 200 what could be the cost you can see there are four one and if you try to convert each and every one to this 100 uh, my cost would be like uh, for converting this uh, any one to this 200 it will, co it will require 199 cost into four for all the fours plus this thousand to convert this thousand to this 200 and what is that cost the, it will require the cost of like 800 okay so if we find out this cost this cost is coming about 800 plus this value this value is around 199 to 4 is around 796 i think and total answer would be like 1596 so if we try to convert every element of this array to the mean and mean is around if you you can also take 200 or 201 because the, it will have the decimal value of 200.8 so you can take either 200 or 201 so my cost would be around 1596 can this be the minimum cost to make all the elements of this array equal obviously not and why note that there are four ones present over here and there is only a single thousand present over here so can't we convert this thousand to this one only that is if we convert thousand to one all the elements of the array becomes 1 and this is going to be like yes I have found all the elements of the array as equal that is total number of distinct elements in present in this array would become 1 so to convert this 1000 to 1 my cost would be like triple 9 but uh, okay but you can see this triple 9 is going to be like uh, very very less than 1596 and the cost difference is like around 600 yeah so this triple line is going to be the minimum cost and how, how this is going to be proved you can easily see if we take our uh, the median of this array median is the point where the the some set of elements to the left of it if we take a sorted array and some set of elements to the right of it have equidistance that that means there are equidistance from that point that is what I am trying to focus about since we try to converge all the elements of this array to this median and uh, median is basically the it defines the state of the array as the point let us say i have x as the median and it uh, and x is the median of this array then this x has uh, that is all the elements which are going to be strictly less than x and all the elements which are going to be strictly right greater than x uh, which are going to be equidistance if we find out the sum uh, this uh, x is going to divide this array in like an equidistant manner and uh, this is going to be like giving the minimum man. So if we try to partition my array on the basis of this median and median is coming out to be x and if we try to convert all the elements to this x 
it will give us the valid and the minimum answer so we will try to make uh, our uh, every element of this array being converged to this x and x is the median of this array note that we need to perform a sorting operation initially okay so let's move on to the code you can see i have easily written a six lines of code first sort the array and find the n which is going to be size and take the answer as zero find the median if n is odd median is basically the nums of n by 2 and if n is going to be even our median is like uh, average of this middle two values and it is going to be n by 2 and n by 2 minus 1 indices of this nums array values of the elements at these indices divided by 2 and what could be my answer finally this is the absolute value of the every element of this array with respect to median and since we are trying to convert i need to take the absolute value either we can increment the elements or decrement the elements and finally return the answer this will give us a all test cases passed i think you can easily see i have some sort of accepted code over here and i'm basically trying to improve my runtime but i can't and my maximum and good runtime is 8ms and faster than 92 percent of cpp online submissions so if you have any doubts with respect to any of the things that I have discussed over here, do not forget to mention in the comments section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.